What if I told you that orbiting above us right now is a structure larger than a football field, traveling at over 17,000 miles per hour? This engineering marvel is the world's largest space station, and today we're going to take you on an exclusive tour inside its awe-inspiring confines. The International Space Station ISS is a testament to human ingenuity and international collaboration, continuously inhabited by astronauts since 2000. Spanning 110 meters in length, 74 meters in width and weighing approximately 420 tons, the ISS is a complex assembly of modules and components that have been gradually added over the years. Understanding the intricacies of this orbiting laboratory is crucial, as it not only serves as a platform for groundbreaking scientific research, but also paves the way for future long-duration space missions and the exploration of our solar system. As we venture further into the heart of the ISS, it's essential to understand the key structural components that make this engineering marvel possible. The space station is comprised of several pressurized modules, each serving a specific purpose and contributing to the overall integrity of the structure. The primary modules include the Russian Zarya and Zvezda modules, which provide propulsion, guidance, and life support systems, and the American Destiny Laboratory, where countless scientific experiments are conducted. These modules are connected by a series of nodes, such as the Unity and Harmony nodes, which act as hubs for the station's various components. One of the most striking features of the ISS is its expansive solar arrays, spanning an area of approximately 2,500 square meters. These arrays are crucial for generating the 110 kilowatts of electricity required to power the station's systems and maintain a comfortable environment for the astronauts. The solar arrays are mounted on the station's truss structure, a complex network of beams and struts that serve as the backbone of the ISS providing stability and support for the various modules and components. To protect the astronauts from the harsh conditions of space, the ISS is equipped with a sophisticated shield system known as the Whipple Shield. This multi-layered barrier, consisting of a combination of aluminum, ceramic, and Kevlar materials, is designed to absorb the impact of micrometeoroid and orbitable debris, minimizing the risk of punctures to the station's pressurized modules. The Whipple Shield is a testament to the ingenuity of the engineers who designed the ISS, ensuring the safety of the astronauts as they conduct their groundbreaking research. Another critical component of the ISS is its thermal control system, which maintains a stable temperature range within the station's habitable areas. This system relies on a network of radiators, heat exchangers, and fluid loops to dissipate excess heat generated by the station's equipment and astronauts. The thermal control system is essential for creating a comfortable living and working environment, as well as protecting sensitive scientific experiments from temperature fluctuations. The ISS also boasts an advanced life support system, which recycles air and water to minimize the need for resupply missions. This closed-loop system filters and purifies the station's atmosphere, removing carbon dioxide and other contaminants, while also recovering and recycling water from various sources, such as humidity, condensate, and urine. The life support system is a critical component of the ISS, enabling long-duration missions and reducing the station's dependence on Earth-based resources. These key structural components working in harmony create a self-sustaining environment that allows astronauts to live, work, and conduct research in the unique microgravity conditions of low Earth orbit. As we continue our journey through the ISS, we'll explore how these components were assembled in space, a process that required unprecedented international collaboration and logistical coordination. The assembly of the International Space Station in low Earth orbit stands as one of the most remarkable engineering achievements in human history. This complex and ambitious undertaking required unprecedented international collaboration and logistical coordination, bringing together the expertise and resources of multiple space agencies from around the world. The construction process began in 1998, with the launch of the first module, the Russian-built Zarya, which serves as the initial power and propulsion unit for the fledgling station. Over the course of the next 13 years, a series of carefully choreographed missions saw the delivery and installation of additional modules, solar arrays, and other critical components. The US-built Unity node, launched shortly after Zarya, acted as a connecting hub for future modules, while the Russian Zvezda module, added in 2000, provided the station's initial living quarters and life support systems. 
As the construction progressed, astronauts and cosmonauts worked tirelessly during hundreds of hours of extravehicular activity EVA, to assemble and integrate the various elements of the growing structure. The logistics of building the ISS were staggering, requiring the coordination of over 40 assembly flights and the transport of more than 900,000 pounds of hardware and components into orbit. The space shuttle fleet, along with Russian Proton and Soyuz rockets, served as the primary workhorses for these missions, delivering modules, trusses, and supplies to the station. The challenges of assembling such a large and complex structure in the unforgiving environment of space were immense, requiring innovative solutions and the development of specialized tools and techniques. One of the most critical aspects of the assembly process was the use of robotic arms, such as the Canadian-built Canada Arm II, which played a vital role in the manipulation and installation of large components. These robotic systems, controlled by astronauts from inside the station, allowed for precise and delicate maneuvers that would have been impossible for humans to perform during EVAs. The robotic arms also enabled the transfer of supplies and equipment between visiting spacecraft and the ISS, streamlining the logistics of maintaining and expanding the station. As the ISS grew in size and complexity, the challenges of integrating the various modules and systems became increasingly apparent. Engineers had to ensure that the station's electrical, thermal, and life support systems were compatible and could function seamlessly together. This required extensive testing and verification on the ground, as well as the development of specialized software and control systems to manage the station's operations. Throughout the construction process, the international partners had to overcome numerous technical, political, and cultural hurdles. Differences in engineering standards, language barriers, and conflicting priorities all had to be navigated and reconciled in order to keep the project on track. Despite these challenges, the ISS stands as a testament to the power of international cooperation and the shared vision of advancing human knowledge and exploration in space. The final major component of the ISS, the Russian Naka module, was added in 2021, marking the completion of the station's primary assembly phase. However, the story of the ISS is far from over, as the station continues to evolve and adapt to the changing needs of its inhabitants and the scientific community. As we look ahead to the future of space exploration, the lessons learned from the construction and operation of the ISS will undoubtedly shape the design and implementation of future orbiting outposts and deep space habitats. One of the most significant engineering challenges faced during the construction of the ISS was the need to develop a robust and reliable life support system capable of sustaining crews for extended periods in the hostile environment of space. Engineers had to design a closed-loop system that could efficiently recycle air and water while removing carbon dioxide and other contaminants. This required the development of advanced filtration and purification technologies, such as the Water Recovery System WRS, and the Carbon Dioxide Removal Assembly CDRA. The WRS, for example, employs a complex process involving distillation, filtration, and catalytic oxidation to reclaim potable water from urine, humidity condensate, and other wastewater sources. These innovative systems have not only made long-duration space habitation possible, but have also paved the way for future deep space exploration missions. Another critical engineering hurdle was the need to design and construct the ISS in a way that allowed for its assembly in orbit. This required the development of specialized docking mechanisms and berthing systems that could facilitate the connection of modules and components in the vacuum of space. The common berthing mechanism, CBM, for instance, is a sophisticated interface that uses a series of motorized bolts and latches to securely join pressurized modules together. The CBM also incorporates a set of redundant seals and leak check systems to ensure the integrity of the station's pressurized environment. The successful implementation of these berthing systems was a testament to the ingenuity and precision of the engineers involved in the ISS project. The extreme temperature fluctuations experienced in space also posed a significant challenge for the station's thermal control system. To maintain a stable and comfortable environment for the crew and sensitive scientific equipment, engineers had to develop a network of heat exchangers, radiators, and fluid loops capable of dissipating excess heat generated by the station's systems. One groundbreaking technology employed in this regard is the Ammonia Pump Assembly APA, which circulates liquid ammonia through a series of radiator panels to reject heat into space. 
the APA's design incorporates redundant pumps and valves to ensure continuous operation, even in the event of a component failure. The success of the ISS's thermal control system has not only enabled the station to function optimally, but has also provided valuable lessons for the design of future space habitats. The ISS's power generation and distribution system also required innovative engineering solutions to overcome the challenges of operating in space. The station's expansive solar arrays, spanning an area of approximately 2,500 square meters, had to be designed to withstand the harsh conditions of low Earth orbit, including exposure to micrometeoroid and orbitable debris impacts. To achieve this, engineers developed a unique solar array wing SAW design that incorporates a series of hinged panels that can be efficiently packaged for launch and then deployed on orbit. The saws also featured a rotary joint system that allows them to track the sun as the station orbits the Earth, maximizing power generation. The successful implementation of this advanced power system has been crucial to the station's ability to support continuous scientific research and sustain its crew. As we marvel at the engineering triumphs that have made the ISS a reality, it's essential to recognize the role that innovative materials have played in ensuring the station's durability and safety in the unforgiving environment of space. The materials used in the construction of the International Space Station were carefully selected to ensure the structure's durability and safety in the hostile environment of space. One of the most critical materials employed is aluminum, chosen for its high strength to weight ratio, resistance to corrosion, and ability to withstand extreme temperature fluctuations. Aluminum alloys, such as the 2219 and 2195 series, are used extensively in the station's modules, trusses, and solar array structures. These alloys are known for their superior mechanical properties, including high tensile strength and fracture toughness, making them ideal for the demanding conditions of space. Another essential material used in the ISS is multi-layer insulation, MLI, which serves as a thermal barrier to protect the station's interior from the extreme temperature variations experienced in orbit. MLI consists of multiple layers of aluminized mylar or captain, separated by a low-conductivity spacer material such as Dacron or Nomex. This combination of materials creates a highly effective insulation system that minimizes heat transfer through radiation, conduction, and convection. The use of MLI has been crucial in maintaining a stable and comfortable environment for the crew, as well as protecting sensitive scientific equipment from temperature fluctuations. The ISS also incorporates advanced composite materials, such as carbon fiber reinforced polymers CFRPs, in various structural components and payload facilities. CFRPs offer exceptional strength and stiffness, while being significantly lighter than traditional metal alloys. These materials have been used in the construction of the station's integrated truss structure, which serves as the backbone for the solar arrays and radiators, as well as in the manufacture of high-precision experiment racks and payload support structures. The use of CFRPs has allowed for the optimization of the station's mass distribution, reducing the overall launch costs and enabling the accommodation of more scientific payloads. The station's windows, which provide crucial visibility for Earth observation, spacecraft docking, and EVAs, are made from fused silica and borosilicate glass. These materials were selected for their excellent optical clarity, high resistance to thermal shock, and ability to withstand the impact of micrometeoroid and orbitable debris. The windows are protected by external shutters made of aluminum alloy, which can be closed when not in use to minimize the risk of damage from space debris. The ISS's Whipple shields, designed to protect the station from micrometeoroid and orbitable debris impacts, employ a combination of advanced materials including aluminum, ceramic, and Kevlar. These multi-layer shields work by dispersing the energy of incoming particles through a series of hypervelocity impacts, gradually breaking them down into smaller, less damaging fragments. The success of the Whipple Shield design has been instrumental in ensuring the long-term integrity of the station's pressurized modules and critical systems. Beyond the engineering marvels and advanced materials that make the ISS a safe and durable home for astronauts, the station also serves as a unique platform for scientific research and human exploration. The technologies and systems developed to support life and work aboard the ISS have not only expanded our understanding of the challenges and opportunities of long-duration spaceflight, but 
Initiative also paved the way for future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. From the innovative recycling systems that reclaim water and air to the advanced medical equipment and exercise facilities that help astronauts maintain their health and fitness, the ISS is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of international collaboration. As we step inside the living and working quarters of the station, we'll discover how these cutting-edge technologies and everyday adaptations allow astronauts to thrive in the extraordinary environment of space. Life aboard the International Space Station is a testament to human adaptability and the remarkable technological advancements that make long-duration spaceflight possible. Beyond the engineering marvels that comprise the station's structure and systems, the ISS serves as a unique living and working environment for astronauts from around the world. The station's pressurized modules provide a safe and comfortable habitat, complete with private crew quarters, a galley for food preparation, and a variety of recreational spaces designed to promote physical and mental well-being during extended missions. At the heart of the ISS's life support system is the Environmental Control and Life Support System ECLS. SS, a complex network of technologies that maintain a breathable atmosphere, regulate temperature and humidity, and recycle water and waste. The ECLSS employs advanced filtration and purification techniques such as the water recovery system, which reclaims potable water from urine, humidity condensate, and other wastewater sources. This innovative recycling technology has been crucial in reducing the need for costly resupply missions and has paved the way for future long-duration space exploration. To maintain their health and fitness in the microgravity environment, astronauts aboard the ISS engage in a rigorous exercise regimen, utilizing special specialized equipment such as the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device ARED, and the Combined Operational Load-Bearing External Resistance Treadmill Colbert. These state-of-the-art devices allow crew members to perform a variety of strength training and cardiovascular exercises, helping to mitigate the effects of muscle atrophy and bone density loss associated with prolonged exposure to weightlessness. In addition to their physical well-being, the mental health of the ISS crew is also a top priority. The station's crew health care system, CHEX, includes a comprehensive medical facility equipped with advanced diagnostic tools, telemedicine capabilities, and a wide range of medications and medical supplies. Crew members also have access to psychological support services, including regular video conferences with family and friends back on Earth, as well as recreational activities designed to alleviate stress and promote relaxation. Despite the challenges of living and working in space, astronauts aboard the ISS have found ways to adapt and even thrive in their unique environment. From enjoying meals together in the station's galley, to participating in educational outreach events, and conducting groundbreaking scientific experiments, life on the ISS is a testament to the human spirit and our innate ability to push the boundaries of exploration. One of the most fascinating aspects of daily life aboard the station is the way in which astronauts have adapted to the microgravity environment. Simple tasks such as eating, drinking, and sleeping require special considerations and techniques. For example, food must be carefully packaged and prepared to prevent crumbs from floating away and potentially damaging sensitive equipment. Drinks are consumed through specially designed pouches with straws, while astronauts must secure themselves in sleeping bags attached to the walls of their crew quarters to avoid drifting during rest periods. As the ISS continues to serve as a vital platform for scientific research and international cooperation, the lessons learned from the daily challenges and triumphs of life aboard the station will undoubtedly shape the future of human spaceflight. From the development of advanced life support systems to the refinement of crew health and safety protocols, the ISS has proven to be an invaluable testbed for the technologies and strategies that will one day enable humans to venture beyond low Earth orbit and explore the vast frontiers of our solar system. As we've seen, the International Space Station stands as a shining example of human ingenuity, international cooperation, and the relentless pursuit of scientific knowledge. The engineering marvels and advanced materials that make up this orbiting laboratory have not only enabled continuous human habitation in space, but have also paved the way for future exploration missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. As the ISS continues to operate and evolve, with plans for upgrades and new modules in the coming years, it will undoubtedly play a crucial role in shaping the future of space exploration. The technologies and systems developed for life aboard the station, from advanced recycling systems to innovative health monitoring devices, will serve as the foundation for the next generation of space habitats and long-duration missions. For a deeper dive into the groundbreaking technologies that make spaceflight possible, be sure to check out our video, Inside the World's Largest airplane factory, where we explore the cutting-edge manufacturing processes.